How to use alien number 2 to create some ad campaign. In this step by step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. Hey everybody, in tutorial number 2, it's going to be really really easy to start creating some ad campaigns. You can do almost anything here in tutorial number 2. If you don't know what exactly is tutorial number 2, let me explain to you. Uh, basically, tutorial number 2 is a new artificial intelligence system that can be helping us to create realistic images and art based on a description on a prompt that we ask into the OpenAI and they are going to be generating something, let's say like this. For example, that you ask for a bowl of a soup that looks like uh, a planet in the universe as a digital art. And one, two, three, the computer can be generating something totally unique for yourself. And the very first part, and the most amazing part of that, is that we can have more than just one variation of what we are actually looking for, and so on and on and on. So, with that being said, how we can get started, I can strongly suggest you guys to use another tool that is totally for free. This is called Canva. Now, here into Canva, you can decide whatever you wanted to, and this is totally for free. Um, actually, I'm going to be using just a full, a few tools that are only for Canva Pro. So if you want to have that, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can check it out that totally for free for the next 30 days. Now here into Canva, what I want to do, of course, is to start generating my campaign to send this in my case into Google Ads. So let's go with the very first part of this, which is the main product. If I go into Canva, what I want to do is to look out for a template. So here, let's say, for example, I want to look for Google Ads, advertising presentation to go into uh, Google Ads in Elements. Here it is. And here, what I want to do is to look out for an element that I can look out for different ads. So we go into designs, I have my ads. And here, we're going to go into photos and stuff like that. So here, what I want to do is to get started with my design. Right, so let's say that I am being creating some, uh, I don't know, maybe some magical application that involves artificial intelligence and I want to promote that into my uh, advertising to Google. So the very second part that you need to do is to see where do you want to start your campaign. In my case, I'm going to be starting with Google Ads. Now, Google Ads is going to be helping me to get started with my campaign. This is something that I use if you have a Gmail, but you can start with Facebook metadata, you can start with Snapchat, you can start with the Pinterest Hub. They have a lot of tools that you can start campaigns and of course those are totally paid if you want to do this totally organic well i might be telling you guys that it's really important to have a slow amount of budget if you want to get started now uh what i want to do here let's say that here i want to first of all decide or try to see what i want to see in an image for example let's say that i have i don't know maybe like some decide that i want to see a phone number i'm going to hit into phone and i'm going to tap this one and I'm going to make this like that, really, really simple. And what I want to do is looking for some unicorn face. So I want to do something like this. There we go. And here is my text. So I'm going to go for insert your text. So we're going to turn something like really, really dumped. But here, this one is going to be helping us to get started because I, now I have the idea of what I want to see into my advertiser, my image of an advertiser. So what I want to do is to make like an application. I want to do like some movement. I want to make the text to move like from one place into another one. But I want to create this exactly elements, these exact elements into something more professional. So. Uh, what I want to do is to go into daily number two. Now that I have like an idea, I'm going to go into sign up. It's really, really easy to create an account. Just get into sign up. You have your email, provide a passcode, verify your email, and then you're actually good to go. Once we are in here, what you want to do is to go into the actual description of your image. And here, what you want to do is to ask for something really, really descriptive. Once you actually find what you're actually looking for, which brings us into the third part of our ad, creating your product. Now, we know what we want, exactly what we want. So let's try to ask Dali number two to create something for us. So here, let's say that I want to look for a unicorn head uh, pumping out of a smartphone, comma, digital art. And here we go. Now, uh, what I want to do is to choose the image that best fits for my description. For example, in my case, I believe that the most accurate is this one. So once I have this image, what I want to do is to, let's say, hit into edit. And here to edit, what I want to do is to add more stuff. So let's say, for example, I want to add 
an eye into my unicorn i want to add uh here like a tongue i want to add like more magical stuff like a rainbow i delete here i use this eraser tool to delete the parts where i want to add more stuff into my image this is the part where i need to be really really honest with you guys if you are doing this if you want to have like let's say for example 30 minutes of working I might be telling you that it's going to be taking uh, longer than that. So I'm going to go back here. It took me a long to actually create something really, really professional. Uh, I'm going to go in here into my account. If you create your account, you're going to be getting up to 50 credits totally for free. And each month, you're going to be having 15 credits each month. But if you want to buy more credits, the cost appears in here into the USD dollars. But at the end of the day, I will tell you guys that it's truly, truly worthy if you are working a lot with Jelly number two, because uh, speaking about this day side, I ended up creating something from this into this, which I think it's something that is really, really viable only for paying like less than $10. And what I just did here into Canva is just to make an animation of my text. So hit into, let's say for example, an effects, I hit into neon tool like that and here i get into uh animation and here i looked for neon once again and what i just did is to use this element to later on show this and then add this into my campaign of google so here now that i have started my campaign now that i have my main images what is left to be done i can go back into daily number two and i can do so much more than that in my case if i went into my history section you might see that now i have different sections where i can use them to later on use them for example to make some description to uh, add this for my social media and so on and on so it's really important guys that you know that this is like an inversion use money to get results from something specific into in my case my social media a dialing number two is going to be creating something really really amazing for you but you must use this application using the tools using all the elements that i just gave you by at the end of the day you can get up with something like this and you won't be disappointed with the result so guys now that we have now uh, created something really interesting for our ads our own campaigns you can go into for example canva why did i told you canva because canva um instead is for free and of course had a lot of tools that has truly for free but once again i am just showing you all the tools that i used for making my project just a little bit more professional that we were just before let's say for example changing from this into this is totally an upgrade for our work and doing this for less than ten dollars i mean it's a really a lifesaver with that being said, guys, we have reached into the very end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools of Tally number two and how you can improve with this amazing place so you can start making some amazing artworks and realistic images, improve a little bit more our personal projects. Thank you once again for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.